Alright. Welcome back to SOS. I'm Stats Arm Badass. Today I'm going to show you something cool that uh, does a lot of stuff. And I hope you guys like it. And gals. And you can use it for your kits. I thought it'd be a great idea because I get tired of carrying around like a piece of flat steel or something like that to... Uh, you all you need is a solid object on on a ferro rod a lot of people don't know that but I don't like using my knife to do it I like using something else that it's not just a striker it does a lot of things okay its main purpose is a sharpener let me pull you over here this coffee's pretty good you want some here have a sip make you feel better oh man it's good it's glorious <laughs> no, it isn't one of those kind of videos where it's like, hey, it's BA here with another fantastic product. All right. This is, uh, this is really cool, though. All right. It is a Speedy Sharp. And uh, I contacted these people because I found them on Instagram, I believe. And they sent me one. And I have to thank them for this because this is super awesome. I saw this and I saw its capabilities and instantly thought of how I carry a knife, a ferro rod, and I have to keep the knife sharp. I want to carry less stuff with me, and I want to use it for all the other cool stuff I found. So I wanna share what I found, and I wanna share what it does, all right? So let's just get it out. Uh, this knife actually needs to be sharpened, so I'm, I'm gonna use it for the project today. Let's just get it right out of here. And that's its little end cap. That's the end cap to keep you safe from its awesomeness. There we go. It's pretty cool. It's got a hole for a lanyard. All right, look. <laughs> I was looking at this package, and I instantly thought, who's going to sharpen their snowboard, right? <laughs> I have no idea what that is. <laughs> I had to throw it out there. But it even has, all right, not just knives, serrated edges. If you have broad heads, you need sharpening up. Even, even with fishing tackle with hooks, you can sharpen hooks, freaking hooks. And of course you're gonna go ice skating or uh, the occasional sharpening the lawnmower. I do this every year. I sharpen the lawnmower blade on the lawnmower. I don't waste, but I usually use a file. So I'm really interested to see if it'll do it. I'm not doing that today, but I will do some other stuff. Shears and stuff like that, we get the point. And world's fastest sharpener, made in the USA. I'm not lying, it says made in the USA. All right, let's just get over here, and it's it's made of adamantium. I'm just kidding again, and it is made of a, a space age carbide edge. All right, to sharpen, it has your instructions. I'm gonna take you through those. You're only required to do one pass for the sharpening portion. Okay, you got to sharpen, and then you got to hone. Okay, so sharpening is in this direction. You will hold it like this, right? Man, it's some trippy looking metal, dude. That is shiny. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. I want to share that with you. That is crazy. All right. Back to work. Let me get the knife. All right. So holding said knife like this at an angle, simply hold, press, and wow, you can feel the, you can feel it. It's amazing. That was instant. That took all that, you can see it right there. They're not kidding. Let me, let me zoom again, sorry. <laughs> all right, just like this, I did it this way right now. I go to the back side. You only, you're only required to do one pass. Coffee's got me shaking. I'm all excited. Here we go. Was Billy Mays ever this excited? Here we go. And slide. Let me do one more. I didn't like that one. Just like that. And there you have it. That's crud. That's funk. Wow. All right. Okay. That's crazy. Be careful with that. I don't know. It might sharpen my fingers. <laughs> Knife hand. <laughs> All right. I'm goofing off. Here we go. All right. Now, simply reverse it. Flip it like this. I did this side net. That side first. Flip it like this now. Now, you're going to do from the handle to the tip. Uh, three to five times for honey. All right, let's do honey. Man, pretty simple. I've already got this down. I just pulled it out of the package. All right. 
That's crazy. That is bananas. All right. Now everybody knows leather's pretty crazy to cut. Let's just you're watching, right? I'm just going to I'm going to hold it and let's see if it'll cut it. All right. That's with a knife, okay? Cutting leather with a knife is not easy. All right. That was that. All right. Now, for a good test here, it says it sharpened scissors. Let's just let's just try to cut. Here, I'll try back over here real quick. Uh, let's just cut. It's not going to do very <laughs> good job. It's kind of sideways. Yeah, I'm all over the place. All right, let's see what happens real quick. All right, which way do I go again? I'm going to make sure I get this right. All right, it's forward this way. Might have to look at it this time. All right, there's that. Crazy. All right, there's one pass. Did I get it that time? I think I did. All right, back again. Hold it down. One pass. Crazy. All right, now I reverse it. Let's see if I can. And I can see that instantly. All right. Hopefully I get this. Or I'm not screwing it up, making it worse. It was dull before. I probably don't know what I'm doing. All right. Okay. It sounds like scissors again. Let's try it. Okay, one slip. Wow. Okay, cool. Look at that. Let's just try one more. Amazing. Look at that. You saw how fast I did that, right? I wasn't even, I, I wasn't, it took me no effort. And now I've got all that funky stuff again on there. That took off of that. Okay. Now, like I said, you know, you know, with this thing, same thing applies for every other tool out there, just like an axe, you know. Wow. It instantly took crud off. And then one, two, three five for good measure why not and then of course I always get confused I gotta remember forward try it one more time there we go one, two, three four five all right let's try this on leather <laughs> can he do it I don't know if I can do it. Let me see if I can somehow hold this up. I'm not going to cheat, I promise. Let's just set this down. Here we go. Let's try it like this. All right, will it cut leather? Shut the front door. <laughs> That's crazy. Nice. All right. Hey, you saw it, folks. <laughs> I did it in front of you. <laughs> I'm not making this stuff up. All right, this old blade, all right? Should I do the old blade? I don't even want <laughs> That thing looks funky. All right, remember forward. And look, you got these funky curves. Look at all that crap coming off of it. Instantly, that's crazy. Now this blade, this, this machete is pretty bad. It's probably the worst blade that I have. Especially down here with all the nicks. Let's see if we can get that nick out. It actually took the nick out. Insanity. All right, reverse. It's just like that. That's how I would do that in the wilderness, right? It's a hundred percent better. I mean, it's not. I don't think it's going to cut leather better, but. It's uh, it's definitely a hundred percent better. Let me see if I prop this real quick. All right, let's just try. Just try out of curiosity. I'm curious. Shut up. I just cut leather with an old machete. Now machetes are soft, so they're going to be easy to sharpen. All right, the next thing. Let's see. Now the tactical application. All right, 
this is what I'm going to be carrying with me every day. You guys have already seen this. You've seen the knife and all that stuff. And you know I've got a ferrule rod here, right? All right. So, let's get my unlasp this real quick. Keep this all looped. Just like that. Remove. I'm going to bring that with me outside. We're going to go outside. But, um... Uh, this is something I thought was really cool. All right. Let me just see if I can get you on camera. This. Now, I haven't practiced with this yet, but I thought this was pretty neat. Let me see if I can get you. There you go again, all over the place. Here we go. It makes these really fine... So if you wasn't an expert at getting this stuff off of fat wood like this, now you've got a tool that makes you an expert at it instantly. This is amazing. And you can save more of your material just like that. Made a fine powder. Pretty easy, right? All right. Let me just show you one more time before I... you can see that right it's making short work of this right all right that's a cool tool to have right next phase of this okay next step of this let's see if this works Just like that. I don't want to burn my bowl. It'll melt this thing. Cool stuff. You gotta admit, that's pretty cool. But one item. Now, when I striked, I just used the front end of this thing, just like you would for sharpening. You just back off or honing, whichever one you want to use. It doesn't matter. Didn't cause any damage to it, so it's good. It'll still sharpen. So, it's one thing with with blades. I mean, I don't want to go using my knife that I use all the time to do something like that when I've got something like this with me I could use for pretty much everything. So, that's a pretty cool item to have and works a lot better than the edge of a, you know, the back side of a knife or something like that. But anyways, so you see the practical uses for it sharpening and uh, using for a ferrule rod and many other things man pretty much a lot of applications but let me put the cap back on this before i forget i'm gonna get off here and i hope you enjoyed it uh you're watching sos i'm stas time about us have a beautiful fabulous fantastic day and rainbows and unicorns <laughs> take it easy god bless